Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne Part 3, I think we're on now, and uh, before we continue ahead, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and clear up a few little things in the central Yarnum, and is it me or is it looking very red right now? I don't know, maybe something's happened to my TV, I don't know, but let's talk to this guy. I didn't mean to sit down. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I... take this... I made no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable. But this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate. Unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. He can even die human. Ah, uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll see some more of him a bit later, as I run into all. Today we're going to use the Threaded Cane, and the Sword Spear, which is one of the items that, well, I, I had it, but I skipped it. It was in that area in part one by the sewers that I walked past. Nice. Right, so yeah, we're gonna grab a few things here. Um. I say grab a few things, we're going to talk to a few people. If I can remember where they be. I'm not sure if I can or not, but... Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh, and there's a... I forgot to read this, actually. But yeah, there's this. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward, as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. Same. That kind of implies that it happened just now, but I think Old Yarnum was supposed to have been burned a long time ago. But, well, who knows for certain. First things first, we want to find the old lady, who is just over here, if I'm not very much mistaken. Whoa, hello dog. Bam. Bam ham. Batman bam ham. Now, there's not really too much point in doing all this, but we are going to do it anyway. Because... Well, it, it gives us some more dialogue and some access to things a bit later on. Basically, just side quests. You don't need to do it, but it can be fun. And interesting. And I'm going to try and do what side quests I can, where I remember. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you once had got off your arse, it wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what, me? Are you going to tell me you're not? Well... We can not tell her, or we can send her to one of these places, and, uh... As I think I mentioned last time, I don't really trust Yosefka, or whoever that is. But the blobby guy, he seems like he could be weird, but you know, we're gonna send her there. Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go slit some throats. Get this mess done with. <laughs> yeah, and she will now hopefully appear at Erden Chapel. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there's someone else we're meant to send there to. Is there? Or have we sent everyone? I think that's the only one for now. Which means we can continue onwards to the Cathedral Ward which is where we stopped last time. 
Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll skip out me as I'm just going to run back to the place, if I can remember the way. And I'm just going to go ahead and teleport back to the Hunter's Dream and then teleport to Erden Chapel. Might be faster just to run there, considering the low times, but you know what? I'll get lost otherwise. Okay, so now that we're here, we have a few different ways we can go. Um, but first we'll talk to this guy. Ah, oh, the Hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. If you find any sane survivors, send them along. <laughs> yeah, I believe if you're on New Game, he will give you a rune. Uh, you should see what she says. Oh no, I haven't forgotten. Or do you think I owe you something? <laughs> well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess that Yarnum's in. It's all your fault, Dupidity outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know you tired. Hmm. What a mean lady. But, you know, mean or not, we should probably save her. From the beasts. And... Things like this. The amygdala that you know she just can't see only we can see this and good god now eileen's not here right now but she should be something at some point will trigger her to pop up right here now up here is ah this guy um oh calm down calm down Ow. Don't slice me up, this upsets me. But yeah, um, we'll have a look up there. Creepy guys with their weird faces. Anything over here? Just some crows. An item, good. Sometimes there will be a, um, a sack man here. And you'll want to be careful with the sack man. Shall we say? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Here we go, I'll kill him just because. Now, here we have... Whoa there. And they will have extra attacks because of the insight, but... You don't need to worry about that if you're on your first playthrough. Unless you do mad... Um... Mad, mad insight farming, which I wouldn't really suggest. Co-op and PvP in this game is not so fantastic. Uh, there's the wooden shield, and there's nowhere else to go. The shield can be very situa situationally useful. Yeah, we could open this right now if we went and bought an item, but I wouldn't suggest it. Because... Well, the boss of the Cathedral Ward is a rather nasty one, in my opinion. Uh, the only boss, I think, apart from Yarnum, that I don't have a, a video on, because I kind of forgot to record it, because I was getting annoyed at it being dumb. But yeah. And I've got something funny up here. I say funny, it, it it's not really funny. Oh, poop. Damn it. Damn it. Everything is going wrong in my life right now. See, I kept getting regain on him after he was dead. Pretty cool. Uh, blood vials. You know what is... Whoa, where did you come from? I don't know where he came from, but whatever. And I believe if, if we took our insight down, we would just be unable to see this thing again, even though we know it's there. But this, let me show you what happened to me when I played first time. 
he will do that even if you can't see him and you will just see that big vortex appear out of nowhere and it was really freaking me out because I I could find what would trigger it and I just kept looking at it like what is happening I was almost tempted to get hit by it just to see what would happen but I didn't and here's our first taste of the giant priests or whatever they're going to be called Whoa! Okay, he's not normally that fast, that's insane. He normally takes a long time to attack. I think you can actually bust out his legs and make him fall over, but I very rarely see this happen. Oh crap, two hit combo. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Yeah, this is how I like to fight him. Whoa! He's... I don't know if it's the insight or not, but he seems a lot more aggressive than usual. That thing has really huge reach to it, so don't be fooled. Oh, wow. I'm sure he doesn't normally have that two-hit combo. Here we go. But yeah, it, it's pretty safe just to get behind them. And, uh whack him in the legs, but I prefer just to bait their attack and then whack him. Whack a mole. Whack a moly, whack a moly. Another way we can go up is here, but we also cannot progress. I'll just show you. Da -da -da. And you can just buy that in the Hunter's Dream if you are so inclined. Because uh, yeah, you can skip a lot of the game. I mean, right now, I believe Unless they've patched it, you can pretty much skip most of the game with one jump. But... Oi, yes. That's right, come over here. Some people really like the threaded cane. I haven't really used it much, so... I guess we'll try and get used to it, won't we? So it's in, it, in its normal form, I guess it's a bit like a straight sword with sweep attacks. Then it transforms into this, which has some nice range to it. Whoa! No charge attack, though. Well, not like that, anyway. What was that? Oh, blood vials. Yeah, because I have so many. And these guys will prevent you from sneaking up on our friend there. Whoa! It's all good. Put my fist in you. Really hard to get a decent close up of that uh, fist mutant claw thing. What a surprise! <laughs> I keep. I know what it's going to be, and I try and pick it up anyway. Uh, yeah, you can go pretty Castlevania with this weapon, I suppose. I'm a bit disappointed there isn't an actual whip, but I suppose this is the next best thing. Uh, nothing here. Here's the monocular, I think. Yep, now we got two. Now... Oh, oh that's the bridge that leads over to Gascoigne, if I'm not very much mistaken. Central Yarnum, maybe? Then... Is that Kanehurst all the way over there? Maybe. I'm not very good at recognising buildings like this in a video game. It's that. Mm. Okay, that's enough sightseeing. You know what's fun though? When I went to... Um, Minneapolis... Uh, a few years ago, 2012. I, I did actually get a bit lost, but <laughs> it was like, I was lost and I couldn't remember where the hotel was, but I just used the buildings to like find my way there. It was pretty cool. That's like something you can't really do here where I live, because there's no, oh crap, I forgot the not crystal lizard. No? He's, yeah, okay, whatever, being, being a poop. Those guys rarely seem to drop anything that worthwhile anyway. 
Okay, you know what? Let's try. And... I don't know. That's a bit of a waste. But yeah, I've got so many consumables. Sweeping, sweeping. Let's try and knock his legs out. Come on. I mean, it's okay if you die too, but... Maybe that is the best way to fight him. He actually killed me on my first playthrough, but... Uh, don't don't you just love the effects on the weapons now? They look so good. Thank you. <laughs> just as I say that, one of my notes is rated fine. What's that? A bit of a fleur de lure? Maybe. Yeah, I know it's a fleur de lis, but fleur de lure sounds better. Well, it's more fun to say. Did I leave a note here? View notes. I thought I left a note here. Here we go. Time for rolling, but beware of tight spot. Oh, oh, I'm in because I got stuck somehow whilst rolling like a lunatic. I I don't think there's much point. No, I probably just ruined the entire game. There's probably a secret where if you break every pot that doesn't have a little fiery candle coming out of it burning, you probably unlock the true secret mega ending, and this door is one that you, as far as I'm aware, you just cannot ever open this door. Where does it lead to? I don't know. But I think... If only I could like glitch through the camera, through the wall, but I think, judging from where we were a few minutes ago, when I was on the bridge. I think this might be right above where we fight Cleric Beast. It really feels like we're meant to be able to explore down there, but we... We can't? No? Okay. I think this is... Yeah, th yeah that must be it. That must be the bridge where we fight Cleric Beast. He must jump down from up here. And so that door might be the door that's at the end of Cleric Beast that you, you just you can't even interact with. Maybe. Maybe it was just like a shortcut or something that they decided against. Because Cleric Beast doesn't actually lead anywhere these days. Whoa, calm down. Mm. Oh god damn it, not again. My life is over. Okay, so now let's actually continue the way we're meant to be going. Uh, you can close this, so I'm not really sure what the point would be. Fucking amygdala. Wait, not amy amygdala. I keep saying that wrong. It's like, like, at first I was saying, like, amygdala. <laughs> Star Wars crap. But no, it's it's amygdala, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You just say whatever the hell you want. I don't care, but... It does kind of bug me when I know how to pronounce a word and it. say it wrong. Mm, this part... You know what? Let's actually use an item that we've not used yet. Okay, ten minutes later I actually managed to find the right item. Yeah, let's try, as I've like never used these. <laughs> okay, so yeah, using that item pretty much just lost me half my health because I suck. Does it not affect the humans? That's very interesting. I mean, it makes sense, and I'm not, it's not like I thought it would, but I'm just interested to find that out. Yeah, I guess... What does that mean if it doesn't... It only affects beasts, like the dogs and the mutated humans? Like, not... But you know what I mean, like the people who are actual werewolves and crap. Sawspear. Interesting moveset. It's called a spear, but look, if you've played any Souls games, you know the spears rarely are like this. Uh, there is the rifle spear thingy, which is a, like a more traditional Souls spear. Soul spear? Nice. Does he say it has finished or this town's finished? I can't really make sure. Can't make sure? Can't make out. I think... Well, it doesn't really matter. They essentially mean the same thing, I suppose, in the end. 
Pooey. I suppose, in a way, some of what they're saying is right. You cursed beast. You really are a cursed beast, because, let's face it, everything that you encounter in this game ends up dead, dying, or worse. So, it is a very dark game, and it's kind of like, in a way, it kind of reminds me of Demon Souls, where you were basically this... You're not even really a person, you're just this sort of unstoppable force that destroys everything in its path. Take your precious demon soul. Um, pulling this does that, I think. Yeah, it's a dark game. I mean, Dark Souls, I mean, it's in the word dark. It's quite a dark game, but Bloodborne is just on a different level. Um, to be honest, I, it's not like I dislike it all that much. I just prefer Dark Souls. And here we have a pretty cool guy. Notice the statue has a... <laughs> pyramid head thing going on and similar to gear to what this guy's wearing that's um well it's not really important but it is intentional and let's talk to not so lair you're a beast hunter aren't you i knew it that's precisely how i started out oh beg pardon you may call me alfred protege of master Lagarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You ain't strayed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Check out them sideburns, this dude's got. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. I, I had something like going on this morning, actually. That's why I had a shave, but not blonde. Um, notice on the front of his robe, that is the, uh, I think they call it the hunter's symbol or omen or something like that but that's the hunter's mark basically that's probably what they call it actually the hunter's mark it's like an an upside down something or other which someone pointed out can spell blood if you like break it up into symbols but maybe that's intentional maybe not i like his gloves they're pretty cool Let's see if we can get a good look at them his his gear in general is on fire no his gear is quite cool um, he is indeed voiced by the same voice actor who voiced Solaire, uh, Daniel Flynn, I believe, who also voiced the giant blacksmith in Dark Souls 1 and maybe someone in Dark Souls 2, I'm not sure. But yeah, he's a, he's, it's kind of, I think he's kind of like a red herring, this character. He initially comes across as a pleasant Solaire type, but... Well, maybe we'll see later on why he differs in some aspects from our jolly sun bro. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on, just tell me what piques your interest. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, 
you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Okay, so two interesting things he brings up. First up, he says, da 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 da, the founding of the Healing Church came from something they discovered in essentially the Chalice Dungeons, the tombs beneath Yarnum. But later on, there is kind of in, I. I, I think there's information that contradicts that in that later on you kind of find what supposedly kicked off the healing church and that would be um, the daughter of the cosmos, uh, Ib Ibritus, however that character's name is pronounced, but yeah, and I'm pretty sure that is what they found, but I might be wrong. I haven't really looked into the lore in depth yet. Bonfire waits ahead. Does it? Does it indeed? Urg. You want no bonfire? Sucks to not fit through the door, huh? Go on, have some of this blood right here. Expose your back to me. No? Fine, I'm gonna put my fist in your face. Ooh. Nice try, Sunny Jim. Damn, I poked him straight in the nose and he was like, I can't deal with this. Heh. <laughs> Sucks to suck. I hate pots. And urns. And stemware. And tables. Man, that's an old video. Uh, sorry, what was that? There was another point I was going to mention. There was the thing beneath the tomb of the diddly doos, and... God, you know, I've actually forgotten what the other... Should I go back and talk to him again? Oh, uh, what? It was Bergenworth the bird. Da, 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 da. Oh, hello. No, no, I did this last time. You're not meant to jump. I jumped last time. I remember now. Bergenworth deep in the woods. Oh, yeah. Berg. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's like the first antidote you can pick up, which kind of gives you the hint that Blight Town's coming up. Although, I. It's kind of this game's Blight Town, but it's very. It's not a really big issue in any stretch of the imagination. How long have we been going? Okay, we'll go a little bit further then. Um. But yeah, Bergenworth's forbidden. And okay, let's read this and then I'll get back to Bergenworth. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. And we promptly ignore that and push straight on through. Yeah, Bergenworth is forbidden. That must have something to do with Rom. Rom is... I'm not entirely sure, but after Rom perishes, we... Hang on. Poop. She Ain't this a bitch? Come on. <laughs> Oh my god, no! This is the... 
okay. Yeah. So after Rom dies, things start going crazy. So Rom is deep beneath the waves, so does this mean Rom was... Oh. What was Rom exactly doing? Was it somehow... Guarding? I don't know. This is something I'm really going to have to look into before I start making lore, but... It, it has pretty interesting lore, I suppose. People are coming up with all sorts of crazy theories, and that can be fun, but... I, I still prefer Dark Souls' story and lore, that's just me. Damn, do you think I can get that? Nice. Bloodstone shards. Oh, yeah, though I can't open that because I... Yeah, that's a useful shortcut, though. Gee, will we be going down there? Oh, yes, we will. But yeah, you can have no worries about dropping down as I did. You can get back up right here. And uh, soon we'll have an encounter with... Is it Gula? Gula? Whatever his name is. The boomer hunter dude. Quite a rascal he is. And we're going to try and not kill him this time. Supposedly, if you enter via the big gate, like the rear entrance. Hunter! Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those harm. Turn back, for the hunter will face the hunter. No. Ah. Yeah, that's... Can we see him from here? Yeah, you can... He's basically where I'm aiming the crosshair. He's a bit of a dick, to be honest. It's like... Ooh, nee, nee. Like... If he was just ch chilling out by the gate, and I'm like, yo, I don't want to kill the beasts, I just want to get through here. He's like, no. So you know these guys would attack him too. Ow, okay, that's ev evidently one reason not to use the cane here. Because you will bounce off crap. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not really digging the cane. The attacks just look kind of silly to me. You know, that's just me. It's not terrible or anything, it's just not really my kind of weapon. It's a bit too gimmicky. And you know, I don't really like gimmicks, I just like hitting stuff until it dies. That's why I like axes, man. I mean, I guess it's cool for having reach and stuff. Decent reach. Uh, repairing your weapons is important. So, it's not like Dark Souls 2 where they break every two seconds, which is dumb. But you should definitely remember to... Remember to fix them now and then, because if you do not... They will get reduced damage and eventually break. So yeah, and they're pretty cheap to repair, so just, you know, do it now and then. I forgot to mention that, yeah, these guys are... Afraid of fire, because fire is the scourge of old Yarnum. Basically, this place got royally messed up, and they went, burn, burn it all. It also has some frame rate issues and some poison, so yeah, it is kind of reminiscent of Blight Town. In a way. <laughs> what the hell? Did that really... Oh, okay, whatever. Oh god, here we go. So yeah, he's gonna... I don't know where he got this... ...weapon he has, but... If we had that, we could pretty much just wipe out every boss from a mile away. 
I wonder if the gems are scaling with New Game Plus, or if we're still getting, like, early game gems. If you played Dark Souls 2, these guys are a bit like the Dark Stalker enemies from uh, No Man's Wharf. Now, we're going to go... Hop down here. I don't think you need to hop there, but I, it's just habit for me. You can... Oh, nice, we got healed by a message. There's a big guy in here. Fire doesn't work on them, presumably because they're covering their heads. Ooh, that was fast. It was furious. And it really upset me. But he's dead, so it's all good. Top of us off. <laughs> I bet you're getting as sick of seeing that as I am. What? You can't even see me, dude. But yeah, now now he's going to get really butt hurt and do this. Yeah. Should we drop down here? There is some items over there, but nothing super important. You can just keep going ahead and avoiding the fire, but I, I'm not going to because I have the items. And... Like, if this is your first playthrough, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would suggest just going past him. Oh, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, don't... Evidently, that doesn't work too well, but yeah, um... Yeah, I would suggest just going this way and then going up the ladder and killing him or going past him altogether. Okay, let's see if we can't... Keep rolling here because the horrible hunter is there. And oh my god, that guy is insane. What's hurting him? Is he fighting the beasts for us? Dude, he's like, he's fighting the crows? Or is it, oh no, it's the fire. What a tard. Whoa, he didn't like me saying that. He's using the same weapon we are, but um... Yeah, if the turret guy was gone, I would show you a decent way to deal with these guys. Um, wait, if you come down here, I will beat you, silly. Yeah, as expected. He ran. But yeah, um... Oh, you, you really want to do this? Come on, come on. I would beat you, silly, son. Yeah, that's what I thought. Run away, use your precious blood. You ain't so hot. Trying to sneak up on me. You shoot me in the head. He shoot me, what a bitch. Does he not know who I am? He must not know who I am. I'm the juggernaut. I'm gonna hit you with your own pimp. Damn, look, look at this sneaky shit. That's what you get, man. I tried to leave in peace and you were like, nah. Give me that bone marrow ash. But yeah, um, if you're fighting any uh, NPC hunter, just basically spam your attacks until you're really low on stamina, like about that much. Then just shoot them. Because most of the time, they will try and hit you whilst you're hitting them. And you can essentially abuse their AI then as soon as you're you're running out of stamina so you can't keep on stun locking them you just pop them with a bullet and then you can usually parry them uh like look at my bergenworth hunter video for that we could go up there and fight him we're not gonna we could go down there which i think is what we're gonna do isn't there a shortcut nearby i want to get to the shortcut and then stop this is actually getting pretty long though so i want to stop real soon Hmm. Actually, let's go that way because I've never I've never been there before. I think it looked too suspicious to me the first time I went this way. Avoided it. But yeah, uh, if you go up there, you can fight uh, Gula or Jura. I 
honestly don't remember which one it is at the moment. Uh, you can kill him or you can get him to roll off. It's up to you. Whoa! Getting him to roll off is probably the best thing you want to do. Because it's frankly the easiest way to deal with him. And... Ah, good god, rafters. I should point out, I am actually a little bit colorblind, which can make parts of Bloodborne very difficult to um, navigate. Not, not really here, this is fine, but uh, the Nightmare Frontier was pretty horrible, because everything there kind of looked the same to me, so... There were times when I would just fall down holes because I literally couldn't see them. And it was quite annoying. Dude, what, what, dude why is there blood stains that? Okay, how about if we just drop here and do a plunging attack? Oh, good god. No, no, it occurs to me this was a stupid idea because I remember there's like a million enemies here. Oh god, how am I meant to... Oh my, how am I meant to do this jump? I'm going to have to run. And... Oh, made it. It's all thanks to courage. Oh, cool. Oh man, now what? I'm, oh, there's no way back up, so me, I'm going to have to drop down into these millions of creatures now. Trust me, there's a lot of them down there. Oh, shit. I really messed up. Will they be distracted by a pungent blood cocktail? I hope so. Oh, okay, what the fuck? No, run like the wind. No, maybe this wasn't the best idea. She, that ain't the door. <laughs> Where's the door? That ain't the door. There we go. It's not really a door. This, the staircase of eternal escapery. You know what, running through a million enemies in Bloodborne is nowhere near as dangerous as it is in Dark Souls. Probably because the game's more... Whoa! The game is kind of more... Mm, I wouldn't say based around fighting lots of enemies, but there are moments where you are not really encouraged, but you can fight lots of enemies without too much difficulty. Look at you spazzing out cut you in your face. And the old getting wrecked. Why? I hate these guys. I hate that scream they do. Look, I, I just want you to... No. No. Come on. Would you let me shoot you? No? Okay. I'm running a low on bullets, so I'm going to do that. And then that. And that's by pressing up on the D-pad, by the way. It will make you... Make blood bullets. Uh, it can be useful. Best time to do it. Okay, yeah. Uh, like, do it when you know there's an easy enemy nearby. And you can just wail on the enemy and regain your health. Fuck. I'm so upset, you can't do this to me. Oh, you whore. You son of a bitch. Dylan!
At this point, if I could do an Arnold Schwarzenegger imitation, I would. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pensions. He doesn't even like do it in remotely that kind of voice, but hey, it's all good. Dude, why is there so many of you? Why you got glowing eyes? I don't understand. Why are you so angry? Why are you so mad all the time? This part is going on forever. I know there's a shortcut not far and I really want it. As soon as we get to that shortcut, I'm, I'm calling it man, I'm gonna call it. Get out of my way! Why didn't I just run through all the enemies instead of killing them all? Yeah, screw you guys, I don't need anything you drop. I mean, you can chase me if you want, I don't care. I'm faster than you. Give me that ritual blood. Yes, my son. So many birds. Pebbles, cool. Hmm? Rocks, cool. Fire. That's actually the boss right there, isn't it? That is indeed the boss. I'm tempting you by showing you where the boss is, but I'm not gonna go there yet. Yeah, I know, life's a bitch. You know, I didn't actually see him the first time I was coming through here, but this whole place looked so suspicious that I was walking like this and he dropped down behind me. He didn't make a sound, but I was looking behind me, so I was like, nah, I'm too smart. Too smart for you. And here's the shortcut. Awesome. We're going to call it right here. You'll probably recognize this in a few seconds. What a thrill, what a thing. Snake Eater, I don't remember the lyrics. Yeah, see, this is where we... Well, that hunter was like, Oh, I'm gonna kill fight Superman. And I was like, no, you're gonna die. And he was like, damn fuck. Get wrecked. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna call it right here. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. And I was... Come on, here we go. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Bloodborne. We're looking pretty bloody, huh? Quite the, uh, quite the sight to perhaps anything that could be blood-starved. Ho 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 ho. I didn't do it too early that time. I'll let you finish him off, Alfred. Damn it, Alfred! You ruined everything for me. I was trying to give you like a cool finisher and you were like, no.